All right, joining us now, Dr. Glenn Goldis, the Chief Medical Officer with Kern Medical. Now, Dr. Goldis, we are just a day away from Christmas, and health officials are urging people to stay home and not travel. But just from today through January 3rd, nearly 85 million Americans are going to be traveling around the country. Do you think we'll see a spike in cases in the year to come? Yeah, I think it's very likely. Unfortunately, we are seeing a lot of people who still intend on traveling over the holiday, which only increases their personal risk of becoming infected and increasing the risk of infecting others. We still recommend that folks stay home for the Christmas holiday and celebrate with just family members or those who are normally in your household. Now, do you think we could see a third wave of COVID after the holidays, even if people don't gather? Or will this wave just continue that we're seeing right now? Well, we're not out of the current wave, and we certainly can see another wave superimposed on the existing. Um, again, very concerning and probably going to um, be related directly to just how careful people are over the holiday. Now, some people are a little skeptical about how quickly this, um, this new vaccine was developed, but over one million people have been vaccinated so far. How are people doing that they have gotten the virus and what are any common side effects you're seeing? Yeah, overall people are tolerating it very well as evidenced by the clinical trials which demonstrated uh, great safety and efficacy. Most common side effects people are experiencing, headache, uh, fever, muscle or joint pain, and more, most commonly some soreness at the injection site. The good news is that those symptoms typically are mild and last less than 48 to 72 hours. So I've heard people talk about, could, can I get the virus if I get a vaccine? Is that possible or is that completely unlikely? No, it's, it's impossible. And in fact, uh, this vaccine is made up of a messenger RNA. It's not made out of live virus or a heat killed virus. So because you're not getting an actual virus introduced into you, it's not possible for you to actually get sick from the vaccine. Now, staying with the virus, just say I got my first dose of the vaccine from Pfizer, and then could I get my second dose from the Moderna vaccine? Well, there's currently no recommendation regarding safety or efficacy if you should somehow receive vaccine from two different manufacturers. So we're currently recommending that you complete your two-shot series using the same manufacturer's vaccine only. Okay, so right now there's just, obviously there's not a lot known. This vaccine is so new and yes. people are just, you know, getting this shot. So it's kind of a time will tell thing, correct? Correct. All right. Well, now I have heard that you've had to wait 90 days after having the COVID-19 to get vaccinated. Is that true? No, actually, some health officials have made that recommendation, but just in an effort to reserve doses for those who hadn't yet been exposed to the virus. Actually, the vaccination should only be deferred if you are still symptomatic while recovering from COVID. And then in one other special circumstance where, say, you were sick with COVID and you happened to receive convalescent plasma or monoclonal antibody, if you received those treatments, then yes, wait 90 days. But otherwise, no, no reason to wait or defer unless you're actually actively symptomatic. Now, what if I had COVID? Should I get the vaccine or will I be okay? You actually should get the vaccine anyway. Dr. Anthony Fauci made it clear that we're recommending vaccination even in those who have recovered from COVID. And the reason is that you may not have a fully immune response to um, your infection and you still may be shedding virus actively and could theoretically be transmissible to others. So it's best that you get vaccinated even if you've had the disease. Obviously, this is so new, but is this going to be a vaccine that we need to get once a year, kind of like the flu shot? Yeah, well, time will tell. We actually still don't know just how long immunity is conferred for individuals who receive vaccine. We have good data for two months after vaccination and less data after that. We'll have to see now as um, time goes by just how protective the vaccine is. It is likely, however, according to health experts, that vaccination immunity uh, will last probably at least a year. And so if a booster is needed down the road, it will probably be at least a year later. Okay. Now, Dr. Goldis, very quickly, Christmas is a day away. People may be yes. gathering. What is your biggest piece of advice that you want to offer to them? 
oh, please just stay home, take care of yourselves, make sure you're wearing a mask when you go out into a social setting, try to minimize exposure to anyone you're not already familiar with or who isn't already living in your household. I urge everyone to just please stay safe and enjoy the holiday. All great information. Thank you so much, Dr. Goldis, and you have a very Merry Christmas, okay? Thank you. Same to you. All right, thank you.